Welcome back, beer tubers. Time to take a look at a beer I've been meaning to review for a very, very long time. But I have a, a good reason to review this particular bottle and get into that more into the review. I'm going to do this a little more like Daniel's Beyond the Poor style, do a little bit of review and do a lot of commentary and talk about Ailsmith Speedway Stout. I mean, this is a, a very, very well known beer. I would say, are you legendary beer in the craft beer industry at this point? It's a 12% Imperial Coffee Stout. Uh, be on the look for fresher bottles, a couple things to note. The, uh, the foil on top is now a grayish colored that sort of mat matches the text on the bottle. The other thing to note is they're actually bottle dating now on it, and mine's kind of on the back. It's very faint it's there, but this was bottled about, oh, a month and ago, a month and uh, a week, just about. And that is awesome to see Ailsmith finally bottle dating. They have their brand new bottling line and they're finally dating these bottles. So let's get into Speedway here. Pours out pitch black. It's got a nice light tan colored head as you can see. Nice head for 12%, leaving some nice lacing already. I mean, normally you'd see some nice legs on the glass as well. I've had this beer so many times, it's kind of hard for me to review, but uh, we'll do a little review here. First thing you notice, you get some a lot of roast, uh, there's there's the coffee roastiness, there's the malt roastiness, there's some nice dark chocolate, a lot of uh, fruitiness in there as well, uh, little bits of caramel, sweet bread, so it's a, it's a very nice smelling stout. It's, it's not as coffee forward as some stouts out there that are certainly lower alcohol, but it, it's got a nice uh, coffee character, they're using Ryan's Brothers coffee as their roaster, so let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, it's it, that Speedway Stout right there. Fresh, it's so it's so smooth and creamy. It's got nice sweetness to it. Uh, the 12%, you know, this is a month old. It's a 12% beer. Cannot smell the alcohol, cannot taste the alcohol. That's the amazing thing about this beer. They absolutely nail it. And I think the coffee is kind of part of that beer. It's not overly overwhelming. It's a very dangerous beer to drink. And uh, it, you know, after drinking a uh, seven fifty of this, you're gonna you're gonna certainly gonna feel it. So up front, I get a lot of sweetness, sweet bread, a lot of sweet caramel. Well, that's up front. Then it transitions into like this milk, like a sweet semi-sweet chocolate. Um, you start picking up some of that more generic kind of fruitiness, that the, the darker fruits, a little bit of like fig and raisin character, and then the back end is when the bitterness comes in, the bitterness of the coffee, the bitterness of the, the roasted malt, you get that nice roasty, it doesn't go too smoky though, it's not, it's not burnt character, it's very rounded, dark chocolate, uh, the coffee comes in, it's got a nice little earthy tinge to it as well. Uh, and leaves the beer fairly dry. The alcohol is coming in to help dry out the beer as well. So it's not too cloying. It's, it's a really nicely balanced beer overall. So this is just the regular version. The cool thing is, and it's been a long time in the making, they plan on doing a lot of single origin coffee variations. And they have done them in the past. They've done them on, mostly on draft, which you'll find during San Diego Beer Week when they have the nine of a million zillion speedways at O'Brien's. And usually they'll have anywhere from three to maybe like half a dozen different single coffee varietals and even some coffee blends going in. The Kopi Lua is the most famous one. The one they keep having on draft recently is the Vietnamese Coffee Speedway Stout, which to me takes this base beer up a completely different level to a, a I even like it more than the Kopi. A lot of people like the Kopi more than the Vietnamese, but I, I'm certainly not you know, I, I have a lot of friends that do like the Vietnamese just as much as I do, even more than the Kopi. And uh, recently they released the Kopi barrel aged version, which is awesome. I still need to go pick up my bottles, in fact. And of course, uh, Vietnamese Speedway, I, I hear, hear is going to be bottled, and hopefully they're doing a barrel aged version of that as well. Uh, there, there's been some, uh, like a Kona blend, there, and some other you know, Hawaiian. Uh, coffee blends, they've done, um, I mean, all kinds of blends on this beer. Check it out, like Great Beer, Beer Advocate, see all the different variations. Most of them have been reviewed locally by people. Some work better than others, but 
you know, the base beer is still still an excellent beer. It's still an A beer for me. It's still a world class Imperial Stout, no question about it. Uh, Elsmith is one of my favorite breweries, and th this is one of the reasons why this beer really got me into what they're doing down there. So they recommend serving this between 50 and 55 degrees. That's probably I had probably have it somewhere in there. It's probably uh, around like 53 or so. And I, as I drink more of it, you, you do notice a little bit more alcohol, but it, it's just just ever present there. It's it's not overpowering. There's so many other flavors going on, so well hidden, but you definitely start to feel it. So. Be careful with this beer. It's very, very smooth for the alcohol. And be on the lookout for, you know, the new color foil, the bottle date on them. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be bottle dating all their beers now at Ailsmith, which is fantastic. They were in the last of the older San Diego breweries that had not been bottle dating their beers. So be on the lookout for fresh IPA and X and some of those beers that you want really fresh. I would say Speedway. Fantastic fresh, get it fresh, because the coffee's gonna be the most present. But this beer will age very nicely as well. So that's gonna wrap it up for Ale Smith Speedway Stout. Just a uh, legendary Imperial Stout. Highly, highly recommended if you've never had it. Uh, Ale Smith's still a very, very small brewery. A lot of people don't realize how tiny they are. They are expanding, they are growing. So uh, they might be coming to a new market soon, but if not, definitely a beer worth trading for. So that's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.